Hi everyone, uh, we're today's study we're looking at the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 1 from verse 2 to verse 5. Let's read together. Grace be to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Established here we have grace and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace as we've established is empowerment and grace is also a covering as well for our shortcomings and then the peace of God that we establish carries us in the place of rest and assurance which is established upon the point of believing God and then we know that every other thing is covered and handled safely by him. So blessed be God even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort who comforteth us in all our tribulations that we may be able to comfort them which are in trouble by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God. And verse 5 says, For as the sufferings of Christ abound in us, so our consolation also aboundeth by Christ. Established very simply that, you know, in John chapter 16 and verse 33, it says, This is I say to you that you may have peace, for in this world you would have tribulations, or be of good chance, for I have overcome the world. Now, very clearly saying that when we have troubles when we have trials when we have things that shake us in any part of our lives there is something that god has made provision for in christ and that is comfort and that comfort comes by grace and by the peace of god which is which passes all understanding which passes all human reason now when you have the grace of god upon your life which comes to you by by the spirit of god and you have the peace of god that comes by resting upon the word of God, then you have the power and the enablement to overcome every, every troubles that come your way. Now, here is the beautiful part of this. The comfort you receive is not only for you. The comfort you receive is also to comfort others when they come to you as a believer in the place standing in your office as a teacher, as a supporter of those in the body of Christ, even outside the body of Christ. So by the same comfort you have received, you comfort all others as well. You comfort others by the same comfort that you have received from God. Now, there are sufferings that comes and that is pretty much denials that, that has to happen, persecutions that has to happen. I mean, it comes in diverse ways in our generation. And these sufferings or these, these persecutions, they are bound unto us because we are in Christ. Now, there is also now the consolation, which is the support, which is the comfort that we have that abounds in Christ. So the fact that we are in Christ gives us an abundant supply of everything that we need to support our journey in faith and our journey towards spiritual growth and maturity. So remember this, that every time you are in trouble, every time you are in a trial, there is comfort already provided for you within that storm, within that trial. And not just for you alone, but to become a testament and a testimony to support another man in his journey towards growth and understanding of the things of the scripture. I hope this blessed you today. God bless you and see you next time on our studies. Amen.